Starting today, more Ohioans are now eligible for the coronavirus vaccine. This includes people with severe medical conditions. There are 14 different health classifications, including cerebral palsy, sickle cell anemia, and lung disease. Teachers in Ashtabula, Ashland, Portage, and Richland counties will also join thousands of educators in the state receiving their COVID-19 vaccine. However, there are many people upset that they are not a part of this vaccine list yet, Frank. Yeah, Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Wall shows us some conditions Ohio is cutting in today's rollout. There are a lot of people who are probably in my same situation. You might remember 64-year-old Linda Armstead from Shaker Heights. Earlier this month, we reported she has multiple sclerosis, and she still, to this date, has no luck getting a COVID vaccine. I can't function. I can't go back to work because walking was like lifting tree stumps. She says she called the Cuyahoga County Board of Health and the Ohio Department of Health and both told her she should be on the list. So you have two entities basically telling you, yeah, you qualify, but yet here you sit. Yes. We checked with Cuyahoga County and the Board of Health said its call center was in error about Linda's case. The qualified conditions on the state site say severe neurological disorders, but MS isn't spelled out. The Ohio Department of Health tells us Linda isn't eligible for today's new group either because it is for those with early onset or born with these types of conditions where COVID puts them at very high risk of dying. And so I'm still beating the bushes. Others are too, including cancer patients. We talked with a local mother, 75 years old. Her 47-year-old daughter has an aggressive form of breast cancer. She didn't want to go on camera, but worries that cancer, of all things, is not on the state's conditions list. I would consider them a risk group, absolutely, and I know that they are. Sean Shacklett is the executive director of Susan G. Komen Northeast Ohio that advocates for breast cancer patients. He says cancer treatments can wreck people's immune systems, making them more susceptible to COVID. Your white blood cells, the cells that, you're, that are used to fight infection and stave off disease, are also killed by the chemotherapy and the radiation. And get this, cancer is on the list of many states like Pennsylvania, Kentucky, Texas. Even the CDC spells it out. But Ohio? Cancer patients are not included in this phase. Some are calling for more transparency. The process that they're using to make selections uh, within a group. The Ohio Department of Health said cancer has been excluded because the number one risk for mortality from COVID-19 is related to age and that the department is following the CDC. But wait, remember this? This is the CDC's list. Cancer is like the first thing on the list. By the way, Linda, she's a cancer survivor too. The last thing you wanna do is be going through chemo and radiation and trying to uh, attempt to save your life and get COVID. Plus, at 64 years old, Linda just missed the 65-year-old cutoff age that had been in place just a week ago. People with medical issues um, in the 1B area, you know, are kind of being missed. I'm Five on Your Side investigator, Jonathan Walsh.